Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is the bonus vlog of the week because I normally just put out vlogs on Sundays, but because of the project I was working on, this one turned out to be a long one and I thought it would make a little more sense if I split it into two so that this one was more just details of the PAX wardrobe and the planning for that. So if you are new here or you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you did hit the subscribe button um, it helps you find my videos if you want to see more from my channel, but it also helps push my videos to people who haven't seen them before. So I would appreciate that. So because I did split the last vlog into two, it means that part of this project is already done and I'm filming this in the future. So I am going to take you back to when I planned this whole project on the Ikea PAX planner, why I chose what I did and everything to get you up to speed to how we got to here. I'm not going to reveal too much right now, but I hope you guys are okay with that and I hope you enjoy this. Also, if you are new here, you probably don't know, but we moved into this house in November and all of our efforts so far have been in making the main floor nice, mostly the dining room and the living room, so we haven't really spent much effort on our bedroom, so it isn't anything exciting at this point. Um, so the wardrobe project is the first of many projects for this room. And after that, I will tackle other things in here. Lately, I've been really thinking that I should get a king size bed. We can fit one in here. It is a little tight. It's not perfect, but I did find an amazing bed frame that I'd absolutely love. So we'll see where that goes. But right now we're just focusing on the closet situations. Um, so what I'm focusing on is this PAX system and then I have the other wardrobe that I'll show you quickly again. So we have this closet situation in here, which I don't think I've showed you empty, but this is where all of our hanging stuff is going to go along here. Um, I'm going to paint all of this, potentially wallpaper it, and then there's going to be shelving all the way down along here for shoes. So that's going to be our hanging storage. And then all of our folded stuff is going to be over in this section here. But before I give away too much, I'm going to show you the planning for the pack system, how that all works if you've never done it before. This was my first time, but I found it really easy because I am very familiar with their kitchen planner. And then I will tell you what the general plan is to make this look built in and kind of do like an Ikea hack for it. I thought I'd show you this from the very beginning in case you've never done this. So if you Google Ikea kitchen planner and then your country, you will get to the website where it shows you all of the different planners they have and you need to pick the Ikea PAX one. So when you first open it up, it gives you a blank room and then you can pick the height and depth of the closet. So I am going with the shallower version, which is 35 centimeters and the tallest version. So from there, you can add in the different boxes, um, which is like the shell of the Ikea um, wardrobe. So I chose a 50, a 50 and a 75. From there, I picked the doors because I'm planning to paint mine. I just went with something plain white. And in terms of the handles, they sell these little white ones that I'm hoping will look pretty invisible and not noticeable. So that is why I went with that, but you could totally pick anything. You could also just buy your own and not buy some from Ikea. From there, you pick the interior components. So the key part is adding in the doors first. If you are adding doors to your unit, if you're not, then don't worry about that. But the hinge placement determines where you can put certain things on the interior of your unit. So I would have loved to have put normal drawers, but I can only put wire baskets because of where the hinge placement is at the bottom. So I've got wire baskets at the bottom, then I've got shelves, I've got a little accessory drawer with an organizer that I could put jewelry or belts or anything like that in, and then I put a bunch of shelving. That's a totally personal preference, but I figured um, in this section I'm doing is probably going to be Chris's. He can put socks and underwear in his fire baskets, and he doesn't like to hang things up. He likes folded space, so I decided that shelves would be the best. And of course, because these are so tall, 
I really doubt that we'll be able to reach the top shelves without some effort or standing on a stool. So those are probably just going to be things that we don't use often. In mine, it will probably be some extra purses that aren't my most frequently worn. And then you can see in my section, I also added extra drawers for accessories because I have a lot more jewelry and belts and things than Chris has. I think I could also put some scarves in there. Again, like I said, I would really have preferred to put the wooden drawers at the bottom. Um, the mesh baskets do pull out like a drawer. I just think aesthetically it would have been nicer to use the wooden drawers, but because the mesh baskets are on an angle, it allows them to work with the hinges. Um, and then I'm just showing you what I would potentially change out um, if I wanted some more hanging storage. So I can add this after the fact. That's the great thing about Pax wardrobes is you can easily change things out in the future. So this is just an idea that I thought of after I already ordered the Ikea stuff. Once you're finished planning it, you just click finalize in the top corner and then it fills your basket on Ikea with all of the different products that you need to buy from them and you can have it delivered or you can pick it up in store. So the Ikea was delivered yesterday and when the people were delivering it, I took up the shelves, the drawers, the runners, all the things, but I don't know how I'm going to get these upstairs. Um, I might have to wait until Chris is home, but... Um, my other thought is that I like unbox them down here and then carry the boards up one by one because I think I might be able to. It's kind of funny because the guys delivering it were carrying it with one arm and it is very heavy so I don't think I could get it up the stairs on my own. It's just too long. I think it would like bump on the stairs every step. That was exhausting. So I've only carried up one box. Um, so I ended up opening it and carrying up the pieces separately. So I've done four trips for one box. I've got three more boxes to go. But I wanted to tell you the game plan so that you're on the same page as me. Um, so let me flip the camera. So as I said last week, this is the area that I'm building this in. So you can see here's the Pax wardrobe. Um, you can do these for um, walk-in closets or make it like a wardrobe with doors. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it with doors. And I'm going to do it similar to how the bookcase was done. So it will have a base made out of two by fours on the bottom. So I've ordered those from Home Depot. I have to go pick them up whenever they say that they're ready. So I think I'm going to take off the quarter round. I don't think the baseboard will come off. But the reason I'm doing the two by four base, which is like going to be like a rectangle of two by fours with like the two by fours supporting it in the middle. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want there to be baseboard. So when you do the two by four base and then put the closet on top, it gives you a lip to put the baseboard on. And I also ordered shims because, well, this is an old house, so I don't think it's going to be level. So this whole section is going to be built in closet and I need to also deal with this. Um, so these are HDMI cables. The previous owner used the bedroom as a family room. So, and same with the ones before that. So this HDMI cable goes into this closet. And there's like, I don't know. There's a lot of cables in here. But you can see that's where it belongs. Just gonna be honest, it's gonna be so much more effort to do Instagram stories and do my vlogs at the same time. I wish I had another camera. My hair looks crazy. Um, so that I could like just film once, like have them stacked on top of each other or something. That would be amazing, but I'm um, probably not reasonable. So, uh, I tried to pull the HDMI cables um, from over here and they just were not moving. So I just tucked them in and I'm hoping for the best here. Um, I should probably cover them. I don't know. Does it matter? Clearly this was glued on at some point. But I don't think it matters. Like it's gonna be behind the wardrobe. Other issue to address is this. So I think I'm going to try to take that off and then the quarter round. Maybe I just don't 
remove any of this. Honestly, like, downstairs I didn't. And I just quickly put this shelf, or I think this must be like a top or a base, but anyways. I put it like this to see. And like, there's so much room, so I can even bring it out to here without an issue. So. So I'm making the first one, um, but there's this particular step right here where this little doohickey is supposed to go like right into the wood. So like the spikes aren't supposed to be showing, it's supposed to hammer it in. Um, yeah, that is not very easy and it's echoing through my whole house. So I might try to take it down to the basement to see if I can do a better job. I don't know, I'm very concerned. Before I went downstairs, I just went back and looked at the instructions quickly to make sure I was putting it in the wrong hole and I was putting it in the wrong hole. So there's a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's a big deal and I hope it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go hammer these now and it's the right hole. That was a lot more strength than you think necessary to do such a thing. I'm gonna do that few more times but oh, I'm just gonna build this one for now and see how it goes I hope that that wasn't a mistake but I mean I looked at this a million times so hopefully it's not So the first one is built. This is the larger of the three. It's the 75 centimeter one. Um, so I need to put it up to make more room, but I don't think I can leave it like that because I think that these little ones may potentially pull it down in the night. So I'm a little bit nervous about that situation, but I guess I've got lots of time before it's time to go to bed and maybe figure out the rest but one thing I'm not sure about is how I'm gonna put this on two by fours like I was intending because obviously the bottom isn't flat so that is an interesting little conundrum for later like that I need to obviously get the two by fours and everything but those are built which was a huge annoyance and I'm sure the rest is going to be just as annoying but thought I'd show you it so here it is um you can see there's a bit of a gap on either side that I'm gonna have to somehow fill and there's like these feet that are inside and when you turn this with a screwdriver it like adjusts so if your floor is uneven that is how it adjusts also isn't it weird there's like dirt on everything like this is brand new ikea stuff anyways um if you remember in the pax planner um i think i explained that the doors only come in increments of 50 centimeters so 50 centimeters 50 centimeters 50 centimeters but because this is 75 there's like a 25 strip so i guess they come in increments of 25 but I thought it would look better 
to have 50, 50, 50, and then the 25 strip closer to the wall and less like focal with the fireplace. So that is why it is kind of like that. I don't know if that was the right decision ultimately, but anyways. So I decided that while I wait for Chris to get up, I'm going to move these off the wall and try and pry off the quarter round. So I'll show you why. So everywhere else in our house, the quarter round is wood. So there's no way I can get that to match um, when I put it in front of the bookcase. So I think it will be pretty easy to pry this off. Whereas this, I don't think I'd be able to get off. So that's why I'm thinking just the quarter round. I'll give it a go. Well, I got that out and it wasn't a ton of work because they used like really long nails, not the type of finishing nails that I would have expected. So it was a lot of work and it's so disgusting what is under here. So I pulled off the sides as well. Look at that. So just sitting on the floor of the bedroom working on the closet. So I just took some measurements to cut the two by fours. I was able to pick them up from Home Depot yesterday. Um, thankfully Chris drove me. And so I'm gonna, I measured the width and the depth. So I'm gonna cut two widths and two depths. And then when I have that in place, I'm gonna measure um, pieces that run in the middle of the two by fours so that they align with this so that there's some support where this crosses and goes back. It'll make more sense when I show you, but I don't want to mess up the measurements. So I'm just going to cut those four pieces and I only have a handsaw. So I feel like that's going to take me enough time as it is. I did it. I made my cuts. I'm back up to the bedroom. Um, and now I'm going to YouTube how to put these together because I don't know. I'm assuming you just screw them together, but I really don't know. So I guess the better idea is to just, yeah, look it up. I looked at a video of how someone was putting together a base for a shed. I don't know, they are using two by fours. So I think that's literally what I'm gonna do. They were using nails, but like, no, I'm gonna use screws. So let me figure this out. I wonder if I made this too big. Let's see. I measured wrong slash didn't understand what I was doing. So back to the base when I go. Fixed it. So I'm gonna show you what the plan is and then I will screw it in. So I cut two pieces that were the total width of this unit and then four pieces that were the depth minus three inches because these two by fours are one and a half inches thick. Um, so the depth should be this plus the middle piece plus the end piece. Um, so you can see I've got the, the end support, another end support, and then the middle supports I have lined up with where the um, edges of the wardrobe meet. Because these pieces run that direction, um, it means that they will have support sitting on this and the back doesn't sit on anything. Um, even these units, there's no back because it does mount to the wall. So once this is all put together and placed on top, I'll be able to mount the packs to the wall and the front is also supported by this. Um, so it should have all the support it needs. There are little adjustable feet in here and I don't think that those will be touching anything. So I will probably just um, kind of twist them. They twist and adjust and um, I'll twist them up, but I'm also gonna need to make sure that this is level. So once I've got all this in place and these come off the wall, I'm going to get my level out and make sure that this is level so that when I put the book, uh, the cases on top of it, the um, wardrobe things on top of it that it is level. So let me just attach this together. So what I'm gonna do is drill um, a hole. I think I'm gonna do two for each intersection on each side. So there'll be four for this one, four, four, and four. 
So um, I'm gonna drill a hole and then I'll drill a bigger hole so that the end of the screw is flush. So I have drilled two holes all the way along. So two, 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 two on this piece and the same on this piece. Um, so I did that with this drill bit here, which um, lines up well with this screw. And then now what I'm doing is I'm using a bigger drill bit that I'm just going to drill in a little tiny bit so that when the screw goes in that the head is flat with the wood. So I'll show you how it looks on these pieces. It just allows the screw to sink into the wood flush. So I moved the packs wardrobes out of the way and I've got my base there. So now I need to level it all off. And of course I did um, put the screws in and uh, vacuumed because there was just a lot of dirt everywhere. Um, but you can see how wonky the floor is. So I've got two packages of shims. I have a level and I'm going to try to get this as level as possible so then I can put these units on top and um, attach them to the wall. So I have the first one on here. It was quite the struggle. Um, I need to attach it to the wall, but I think I'm going to take a tea break. And then when I come back up, I will attach all three of them. Um, but I think I need to do the first one and then um, attach it to the wall. And then you have to like attach the two together, if that makes sense. So do that after tea. Back from my tea break. So I adjusted the base again because I found when I put the um, unit on top that it still wasn't level. And now I'm going to use little scrap wood blocks that are all the same um, depth to put in behind at the point where I'm attaching it to the wall because you can see it gets narrower towards the top because it's not completely against the back. So I'm going to put these up in behind where these brackets are and then um, it will screw into that and then into the wall. Also, my little guy is joining me again. He always snoozes in the afternoon, so I decided to take his collar off and keep him in here with me so that at least I could watch in case he, um, starts licking. But, I mean, he was up here before my tea. I took him down to have tea and brought him back up, and he just keeps sleeping. So that is working out pretty well, and I'm just looking at the mounting instructions to make sure I get it right. So I got the first one up. It wasn't too difficult. And then there's little covers that like go on the plates. So that is up. And now I'm going to do the second one. Um, but with the second one, you have to like pull them together um, with clamps. And then you use like a special thing to attach them. The camera died, so I don't know where we left off, but um, those two are attached to the wall and to each other now, and I just have the last section to do, and then I'll be done for the night. So I'll put it back on time lapse, and hopefully we don't die. finished everything on the bottom feeling good about that I even cleaned up 
Um, and funnily enough, because our ceilings are so high, I can store the ladder in our closet upright. So that's amazing because I was thinking I was gonna have to carry it all the way down, back down to the basement. But this is finished, so let me show you. So here's the base. You can see there's some shims there and it's all attached. So I need to figure out what the next steps are. Um, I'll have to measure this to get some baseboard. We have some in the other room that was clearly added after the fact, but it's the same style, just slightly lower. So I'm actually thinking that might be a super great option because I believe it would um, be the perfect height. I have no idea what to do about the top. That might be something that gets done in the future. Um, so I might focus on the doors and the baseboard for now and then figure out the next steps because once I do the baseboard and put the doors on, I think it's going to look fine even if I don't finish the sides or the top. Um, so that is what I'm thinking. Hey, little buddy. We going to go have some dinner? It's the next day and I'm trying to decide what to do. So I think I talked about this in my stories, but maybe not in my vlog. I could just put the baseboard on, put the doors on, put the paneling on the doors and call it a day. I could just ignore the crown on the top and not fill in the gaps because those are two things I'm very nervous about. The baseboard, I've got to figure it out. I found some that works. Filling in these cracks on the side, not cracks, but like the, the gaps, not, not in my skill set. I believe I would need drywall. How do I cut drywall? I don't know. So that is an issue that I think I'm actually more scared of than the crown molding. The crown molding, I believe I would do something similar to the bottom from the, as I did on the bottom on the top, add something. I think it needs to be higher and then somehow make crown because I don't think I can find anything similar to this. So I think I would need to do lots of different pieces and attach it. And well, I guess it could look terrible. I don't know. Um, and in terms of the paneling on the doors, that is another thing to figure out. So as I did in the living room, there's like the smaller section and then the bigger section. And the bigger section, I normally did um, about three inches below the crown. So I just don't know how it would look on the doors. So if I'm going to extend the crown to the top, then I guess I would do the paneling up higher. Or do I just do it on the doors? I don't know. Just a lot to think about and I'm really not sure, but I think I need to mount the doors um, on first. They're removable after the fact, so I'm gonna put those on, I think and then maybe use some painter's tape to kind of plan out what I'm thinking for the doors. And then I think I need some zinser. I already have the panel molding, but it looks like that my store has more in stock and they keep selling out quickly. So I'm gonna order the baseboard, the zinser, the paneling. But it seems silly not to like deal with the top issues, so. look at my recommendations so i've got some drywall i've got some in the fro some more drywall some fashion mumbler more fashion mumbler i am watching weird stuff clearly i ordered it all very expensive let me tell you decided to finish this vlog off strong by putting on the doors mostly because I like to work out in the living room and the doors were taking up all the space so I'm gonna quickly try to put them on I don't think it's gonna be a hard job um and then we will be all set and I did pick up the Home Depot order so on the weekend I can make more progress on this project and maybe be closer to being finished
So the doors are on. That required so much more strength than I think I had. My arms are shaking right now. I don't know why this whole project, just the packs alone requires more strength than you can imagine. But getting the doors on with one person was kind of a struggle, but it's looking good. And as you can see, that one strip is skinnier than the other ones because that's all that could fit. And I think generally it is better having it over there. So I don't think I regret that decision. Um, and then these are the little handles that I got. I thought that they would kind of be hidden. So let me show you. So that's how they'd look. So from afar, I'm hoping that it's not super noticeable, but it's easy to open the doors. Also, the doors have the soft close, which is amazing. So happy with that. And then on the weekend, we will get to the rest of this. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys, because this goes live tomorrow and there's so much more to go. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. I think that it is going to turn out amazing. I wonder if I'll get it done next week. I doubt it, but let's be super hopeful. Um, I need to go relax. I am so tired right now. <laughs>